Oh, here we go. I've been so excited for this. What I'm about to show you is some Overwatch 2 alpha footage with all the changes that they are making in Overwatch 2. Uh, if you're interested in some of the new maps, those will be over on my second channel, Flats 2. Link in the description slash maybe pinned comment. But yeah, I'll just let the changes speak for themselves. But I have a question for you. What sound do you think this is? The sounds in this game are so good. Please pay attention to them as you watch this video. I don't think they get enough credit and they really bring this game to life. Enjoy. All right, this is kind of new because I normally just do stuff on stream, but hi. So as you can see, we're playing the alpha. You know, I felt bad I couldn't tell anybody, which was a little, not that great, but, and I wanted to show you guys some of the new reworks and some of the new heroes. So first up, let's look at Doomfist. Now, if you already look at my bottom right, you can see it looks very different. Also on my bottom left, you see my health pool is actually 450. Doomfist is considerably bigger than he is on live. Um, obviously to make up for him being a tank. Doomfist does not behave totally the way you think he does anymore. For example, his right click punch no longer is a one shot. Fully charge up on this bot. <laughs> Full charge punch no longer is a one shot. In my opinion, from what I've been testing and trying with a lot of these new reworks and heroes, they're trying not only to make heroes fun, but to fun to play against, which is a big W. Now, let's talk about the two big ones, shall, shall we? The first one being, it's what his E is. Now, his E and his shift are actually changed on the alpha. So his block was his E and his slam was his shift. Uh, but as a five year Overwatch veteran at this point, I could not physically put my Doomfist E on shift. Uh, so I changed it. That's why you'll notice that it says E in shift, and maybe if you watch other people's point of views, those might be reversed. So they've kind of combined his uppercut and his E a little bit, so it travels pretty far. Now, if you saw, there was a massive uh, shock wave. Um, it's kind of like a mini stun, and it does damage, and it's a pretty large area effect. I'll show you on these bots. So it does about somewhere in the range of 25 damage for his E. Uh, it's a good AOE damage, especially if teams are, are grouped up. As you can see, it's a very large field of view. Now, Doomfist's E is very differently behaved now. For example, I can E up onto this high ground naturally. Let me show you. So they kind of combined his uppercut and his slam uh, into this new movement ability uh, where it's you kind of take high ground and it feels to me almost like Winston jump. Now, you just saw there I didn't reach and I felt a little clunky like hitting the wall and getting stuck. So they've thought of that already and you can cancel it. And there's a lot of tech with Doomfist. So I'm gonna look straight up and I'm gonna hit his E and then cancel it on the way up. Watch what happens. I can get some serious, serious height. Now you can also cancel it with this punch. Let me show you what that looks like. You can end up halfway across the map if you do some of his text properly. Now, there's definitely some practical uses for it as well as some impractical uses for it. Um, but I've definitely noticed that it's good for getting back fast. The last part uh, <coughs> is his block. So Doomfist's block um, takes 90% of incoming damage. So it's a 90% uh, damage reduction. I can kind of show you how it works here on the bots, but it's not great. So, you saw the little bar on the right side? That meter charges up to 100, which is like taking 100 damage or 100%, basically. So if you take damage, it charges his fist, his empowerment fist, when it's charged, it charges the rate at which you can punch and stuns them for one full second. It actually doesn't feel too bad to play against and play with, but uh, the big concern obviously is CC. I would argue the CC is not that strong, uh, but it can hit multiple people. So if you take damage and there's a group of people in front of you and you punch all of you pitch, you punch them and they're together, you could actually knock all three or five, technically they're all like that group, back into a wall or at least Further enough back. And then lastly, is all. I'll show you the, the empowerment of this stuff a little bit better later. Next up, we've got Arisa. Now, 
The first thing I think I've noticed is Arissa's gun looks like it's a little bit higher. Like it's like, instead of she's normally like this, now she's like this. Bottom left hand corner, 500 HP. Half his armor, half his HP. And look at her bottom right. Do you notice something? There's a few changes. One, her gun has unlimited ammo. Now, before you panic, there's a cooldown on it. So you can't just fire nonstop. There's also some changes where she has a javelin spear and the spinny spear, as I like to call it. But I guess the official name is technically, official names are technically the energy javelin and the javelin spin. Uh, her left click does 10 damage per bullet, um, which isn't a whole lot, but it's actually pretty decent. Um, you'll understand what I mean when I show you uh, the left click damage. So let me show you what those bullets look like. And of course you can overheat. That animation's pretty cool. But the uh, orbs are actually quite chunky. So it may seem like I'm doing a lot of damage. However though, uh, hitting the shots on are a little bit difficult sometimes. Uh, it's not like the mindless Orisa spam. However though, there's also a pretty good fall off on it. So this range you notice here, uh, I'm not doing that much damage. I also believe, uh, do you see that bottom right hand bar, the red red bar on the, uh, the meter? Once you're past that range, like that this range right here where you see I'm shooting it, uh, the damage fall off actually builds um, by, if, so if you hold down her left click and it does more damage, sorry, if it does more shooting, it does less damage. My favorite tank, Roadhog. You all know I love Roadhog, right? Ah, uh, yeah, no. Anyways, look at, this, look at this guy just vibing out, hanging out near this ledge. It'd be a shame if somebody sent him off the map. No! Okay, maybe next time I won't send myself off the map. I can actually do it without it. So the javelin spear uh, has many, many uses. Uh, but the biggest two, in my opinion, are the damage. It does, I think, 25 damage per hit. Up to 50, so let's not talk numbers. But it knocks them back, and it can eat ults. Lastly, is her Javelin Spear, and honestly, my favorite one so far. Now, watch this. It also can pin them against the wall. So let me show you what that looks like. Oh my god. It does a devastatingly amount of, a large amount of damage. This is extremely useful against Rhine pinning and Doomfist going in and brawling your team. Orisa seems to be the uh, the brawl king at the moment, almost more so than Rhine. Um, now, Rhine, I think, with a few changes, can probably take that title back. However, Orisa is very much like the I'm not going to let you get in my face and dominate me tank anymore. Lastly, is her Fortify. Her Fortify still grants, uh, it's like a 40% damage reduction, um, but it also actually gives you an I extra 125 over health. Now remember, there's no longer uh, extra armor or Lucio beat, everything is extra over shields now. All additional health, rally armor, beat, um, shields, whatever, is all one, uh, uh, Hammond shields are all one type. It's called over health or over shield. You also move slower while in fortify. I'll start walking then pop fortify for you. Enjoy. I believe it's a 10 or 20% reduction in movement speed. So you can't just run enemies down uh, popping fortify, which is a good thing. Last change is her ultimate, which is a almost like a graviton snare where she like she pulls in everyone around her to herself and charges this slam and it does upwards of a maximum of, I believe, 250 damage if you don't escape it in time, and she charges up enough. Let me demonstrate. Reach your fate. So if I let that go for the whole four seconds, uh, it would do 250 damage. Uh, I can still be shot at during that and take damage, so it's definitely a bit of a risk-reward play. Um, it's very good at pulling a team in to her and absorbing that damage. You also notice it looks like she was fortified. I'll show you one more time. 
or ultimate. I'll let it charge the whole time this time. Reach your fate. Fortified to pull them all in. Boom. Not we'll do 250 damage. Diva. Uh, Diva doesn't seem to have gotten many changes uh, in 5v5. The biggest noticeable one for me is the three second defense matrix, which is very strong. It appears to me at least that the off tanks are very strong in the current format. That could change by, you know, beta time. That could change by, you know, live release. But at the very moment, D.Va actually feels very strong. I wouldn't say oppressive, but very strong. Um, she does a little bit less damage, but not by a lot. She do still does a significant amount of damage to targets. Um, much less so than some of the main tanks. As you saw, while I was shooting with the Orisa, Orisa left clicks, I was doing way less damage than I was doing here on D.Va. You also don't forget you still have micro missiles. D.Va also has the same ultimate, her bomb. I'm curious to hear the gunshots. I will say the sounds in this game are beautiful. They are so good. Next up, there is no obligation. We got Sigma. The universe to make Sigma sense to you. Uh, didn't get many changes. Got uh, an extra 150 HP through shields and health. Barrier, barrier has been reduced a little bit. If you look at the bar on the bottom and on my bottom left next to his health pool, it sh there's new ways to look at what your shield health is and be able to easier manage your shield health. Uh, one shot combo is back. So if you hit someone with a rock left click, you will kill them. Um, I don't know if it was the left click that got buffed or the rock uh, off the top of my head. Regardless of Sigma feels very much like normal Sigma. Uh, I actually haven't seen people play a lot of Sigma, whether because they're just sick of playing him on the ladder or he's actually not that strong. Um, but so far, I wouldn't say that he's been the most my I wouldn't say he's been the most standout hero. Next up, better world we got what I've today. deemed Sniper Monkey. Now, you look at my bottom right, it looks like normal Winston. Uh, there has not been anything added yet. I don't know if it will ever be added, but there is now, if you look at my crosshair, it looks a little different. There is now a new right click. So the right click is a charged ranged attack. Let me demonstrate. Fully charged, consumes 20 ammo, and does 50 damage. I have been loving this. Why? It's well, let me show nothing. you. Let's say I want to fight this Soldier 76, and I'm looking to engage on him. Everybody knows you can jump on him, you know, <sighs> melee combo, and start tasing him. But what if I told you there's now an even higher skill ceiling, and there's a new way to engage? You can actually jump up in the air while charged, aim down at a target with your right click charged, hit them with the right click, Come down, m hit the ground, melee cancel for the burst damage, and then start left click and meleeing to kill them. I think that brings a lot of value to Winston. And in times that I've noticed, is especially where I'm like 93 or so to primal, I can sit on high ground and poke. And you see how my ult charge is going up by about 3% per shot? I can finish up my ult and then jump in without being afraid of going boom. The last big quality of life change is Winston Bubble now has a timer that's displayed to you. So if you look at my bubble here, you'll see the timer on the bottom. Now the top blue bar is the shield health, the white bar is the shield timer. So when the timer hits the end, the bubble is done. Primal, same as before. Good stuff. Next up, we got our old roly poly pal, Hammond. Uh, very much the same. Got an extra 100 armor. Still feels the exact same. Uh, the only difference is his E now gives over health as opposed to over shield. Uh, they actually might have changed the way his E worked because I look like I got 300 health for two targets there. Now, maybe I'm wrong on that. Let me try it. Oh, the adaptive shield health gain per target is increased back to 100. So it's like old ball. Interesting. Reinhardt. Now, Reinhardt's got an extra 50, 50, sorry, 150 health slash armor, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. And as you see on my screen, only has 1,200 shield. Reinhardt still does the same amount of left-click damage on his swings. It's very much the same. The only change, however, is his fire strikes. Fire strikes, he's got two. They do 90 damage apiece. 
So, not quite a hundred. But you get two of them. Reinhardt also has really intense turning on his charges. Charges also reduce to an eight second cooldown. And is canceled. So, you can actually pin people off the map and then stop. And they will go off the map and you will not. So, good little tech to have in your back pocket. I wonder who that got that idea from. No, nah, I'm just kidding. They probably came up with it on their own, but regardless though. Shatter, uh, I believe is very, the same exact Shatter. I think Shatter should be three seconds um, up from 2.5, but that sound. Oh, that sound, though. Double. That sound. All right, next. We got Zarya. Together, Zarya has strong. been kind of a menace. Not going to lie to you. Uh, Zarya's big change is that she gets two bubbles now on either cooldown of herself or for others. Um, so if she chooses, she can actually just bubble herself twice. They also take more damage. Um, now that's subject to change, but it could end up being like 250. I think is what it is right now. So right click. Oh, that sound. Oh. Oh my god, it sounds so good. Left click. Sounds so good. Everything else is the same. She got an extra 75 HP. <coughs> Lastly is Roadhog. Roadhog is very similar to live Roadhog. They gave him an extra 100 heals and his... Uh, his E reflects that, so I think it heals for 350 instead of 300. Honestly, he kind of struggles a little in my in 5v5, in my opinion, um, because he can't be the same flanking tank and, like, you know, the other tank you have to worry about. Like, on live, he's the one tank that you have. So, uh, there's a lot of ways to deal with Hog now that you might have not had to in the past. Still does an absolute ass load of damage if you hit them properly. Still has his one shot combo. Well, also, you want to hear his, his left click really quick? Oh, that sounds so good. Lastly is his whole hog, which sounds phenomenal. It just sounds so good. Alright, next up, I will show you all the DPS changes. Uh, I'll go through every hero. Uh, well, they got some big changes. We'll go over them. If they didn't get really big changes. We'll go through them pretty quick. Ash, Ash. Uh, biggest changes are honestly the sounds to her, to her dynamite and her gun. Dynamite sounds cool. Her gun sounds so much more chunky. Next up, we got Reaper. Uh, Reaper's actually very, very strong right now. Reaper, Reaper is pretty much the same. Just does a lot of chunky damage. Reaper's guns just sound really good. All the new sounds sound amazing. Next up, we got Bastion. Bastion got some pretty big changes. Kind of full rework, actually. Uh, his left click is more like a DMR now. Got no recoil, which is, I'm not going to lie, it kind of feels... Weird. I'll aim right here. It feels so weird for it to not have recoil after like playing soldier and stuff. Like, it feels so awkward. If that makes sense. I don't know. Like, not crazy about it. Bastion's new right click, which is like a grenade. It's pretty massive damage. Can stick to enemies. Lastly, which is the big one, Bastion's configuration tank now bind bound to his left shift. He has unlimited ammo and lasts for as long as the sentry chart lasts. Uh, there's a timer on it, but pretty much you can non-stop shoot the entire time. It's kind of insane. There is one last change, though, to his ultimate. His ultimate is actually now uh, an artillery barrage. So you see these two bots here? We'll go over here. You can shoot that pretty much from spawn, and if it hits 
most, I wouldn't say like the direct center, as you saw the bot on the right survived with like one HP. As long as you hit them pretty solidly, you will insta-kill. A squishy. Now, Sojourn is crazy fun. I love Sojourn's movement. Let me show you. So Sojourn fe kind of feels like an Apex character where her shift is a slide. In which you can jump at the end and get a super jump. So, you can obviously choose not to jump at the end, but why not, right? Like, oh, it feels so good. You can get high ground, you move so fast. So, Sojourn first off, her left click uh, is her normal damage. It's more, it's like a projectile. But it shoots pretty quick. So, I don't want to say hit scam, but I almost don't want to say projectile. Now, do you see that hunter at the bottom? You're like, well, what is that? So, that is actually her railgun charge. But her railgun is a maximum 200 damage with a headshot, one tap. Ramp it up to 100, one shot. Next up, you have Sojourn's E, which is like an area AOE denial grenade. Breaking them down. Now, it can do some serious damage. It can do 200 damage to you if you sit in it, but I mean, it's really not that hard to get out of, it's just, if they do force you in a situation, you might be in a little bit of trouble. My favorite way of using this so far has actually been as a defensive tool. Whenever flankers like Genji or, or Tracer or even an enemy Sojourn have run up on me and, and got me like gotten close range and I feel like I might lose the battle, I actually do this. I fight them while inside my own grenade. So if they come into my territory, I will take them on and I will beat them. Now her ultimate. Sojourn's ultimate charges her railgun rapidly. Up to, I think you can get five shots off if you do it immediately. Um, let me just demonstrate it for you. This ends now. Calculate it. Double kill. Triple kill. What else? Quadruple kill. Quintuple kill. Sex double kill. Yeah, I lied. It was Let's six. Get back to basics. Uh, there is one other mentionable part while I'm solo. I don't know if I can show you when I get someone in here. Uh, but the left click ramp up actually works on shields. Um, so Reinhardt barrier, Sigma barrier, Winston barrier. Um, that I'm not sure. Uh, it seems like a little bit of like a hard counter to shields. Um, being able to build up your one tap right click off of shields. But I figured I'd at least mention it uh, that that's currently a way to build up her uh, railgun. Next up, we got Just Cassidy. Cassidy got a little bit of a rework. No longer has a flashbang. And now has now he has a sticky grenade. Do I just throw it? Don't move. Blows up like a grenade. Now it's also heat seeking. It's it's not like you have to be pretty much dead on with it. Now hold on. It then sticks to them. So I wouldn't say this is a great counter to Tracer. I uh, like how Cassidy currently is. However, though, you could force that recall out very early with a nice sticky grenade. It's also powerful at winning the 1v1s up close. Cassidy, though, I want to just let you hear his left click and his gun sounds because it sounds phenomenal. Beautiful. Uh, high Noon, uh, to my knowledge, is pretty much the same. Uh, there is currently a damage reduction while charging High Noon, um, but I'm not sure if all that stuff is going to stay. Uh, I think it will, but regardless, that's just stuff that's being tested. It's High Noon. Where's the Tumbleweeds? I feel like, where's the Tumbleweeds? The Tumbleweeds. Oh, next up, we've got Soldier. Soldier, needs a Soldier is pretty much the same. Also... I will say Soldier actually feels pretty impactful uh, in 5v5 with us shields. Uh, if you remember se Season 3 Overwatch where Soldier was strong, um, when there wasn't much shielding, Soldier was good. Uh, I think that's kind of applies here. I will let you hear his pulse rifle and then keep moving. Alright, Echo. Uh, Echo got tuned down quite a bit Shall in this. Get started? Um, I don't want to go into exact details, but you'll notice her left click has less ammo. Um, they changed the way her ultimate works. Echo Beam went from 200 to 175. Uh, and Echo Duplicate uh, has a mass or a maximum health 
of 300. So let me show you that. When I copy this Reinhardt who has 650 HP, I should have 300 HP. So I only have 300 HP, so this way you can't abuse Echo to have multiple tanks on the field at a time. Not bad. Next, Sombra got a pretty big rework. So Sombra can stay invisible forever now, um, like she currently can. However, she can actually hack while invisible. Initiating the hack. This has been, they're playing with this still. Um, they're currently, I, as of this moment, they have nerfed it a couple times. Um, so the cast time is much slower than what it was. However, though, hack in this is very different. Uh, hack it currently in this alpha and currently for Overwatch 2 is only a one second silence. So how cur hack currently is on the live server. Um, or Overwatch 1, and then an 8 second uh, hack where they take 40% more damage from Sombra and they have walls on them. So, silence for one second, and then for the next seven seconds, uh, Sombra can see them through walls. It does a lot more damage. By the way, that is not a bug. Sombra's gun just sounds that loud. My god, that is chonky. Sombra's EMP. I don't know if I can talk over that. Sombra's EMP does 40% 40 40 of your health pool in damage immediately. And then triggers the hack effect. So, you see this Reinhardt? Has pretty much full health by EMP him. Takes 40% of his health right off. This does the same thing to the bots. And then they also take more, I believe they also take more damage from me. Uh, and also have the seven second lingering hack. That part I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna refer refer to the, the sheets. Next up we got Genji. Genji's pretty relatively unchanged. Um, I think that there's some things that are getting looked at for Genji. Um, however though, with the less CC that's currently in the game, um, Genji is definitely a little bit more viable. I will say I think that Genji uh, has a much better chance to thrive in Overwatch 2, but might need some more tuning uh, to be fully viable as opposed to other picks. That's my own personal opinion, though. Symmetra, Symmetra is pretty this much the same. Um, to my knowledge, does not really have any major changes. It just changed the way she sounds a little bit. By not much though. Torbjorn. Tools in hand, brain in gear. Uh, the biggest Torbjorn change to mention is his armor overload. His E is now over health, Power so it turns to green health as opposed to the armor that he would be given. Hanzo uh, does everything? slightly less damage. Honor. Um, With does honor. 60 per arrow, I believe, damage. instead of 70 uh, on Storm Arrow. Uh, but other than that, pretty much the same. I will say the bow sounds really cool though. Junkrat, so there is one major change to Junkrat. Uh, his Junkrat trap, you no longer are hard snared, you actually can move out of it. So. I broke him out of it. Maybe if I try again. I actually destroys it, interesting. Um, so Junkrat trap now works that you can actually move away from it and it's very much slow. Like you can only move at like 10% your normal speed. Um, move at, only move at like 10% your normal speed. However though, if you're like on the edge of a corner, you, you can back away from it. Next up we got Tracer. No major changes other than her gun sounds sound a little bit different. Uh, and that she does slightly less damage. There might have been a pulse bomb change, but I'm not sure if that got reverted, so I'm not gonna. So I'm not gonna really, really talk about the pulse bomb. Come on, snowball. Next, we got you May. So May has a pretty major change. Her left click no longer freezes. However, it does a hundred damage per second. We now them, that might snowball. not seem like it was very effective, but uh, I watched Seagull, me, Emong, and Seagull were three stacking, and we I watched Seagull literally go one v five versus a stack of devs and just solo them on May, and it was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Seagull so running up behind an enemy team of devs just going like this, and just Double. deleting them, what, I, 
was peak. I, I kind of wish I had footage. Uh, but I didn't know we were going to be allowed to record at the time, so. Here we are. Uh, right click is very much the same. Uh, and her blizzard still does freeze, so no worries there. Widowmaker. Widowmaker is pretty much the same, except uh, currently they've reverted her uh, 25 HP nerf, so she has 200 health again. But the big thing is her gun sound. Modern Warfare 2 intervention, anyone? Farah, no major changes Strike other than above. her sounds. Out. Got some sounds cool too. All right, let's go over to some support changes. Uh, so Anna seems pretty much the same. Uh, she does, I think, slightly more damage on her left clicks. She does 70 now instead of 60. They change the sound a little bit. Her sleep dark cooldown is a little bit longer, at 15 seconds. And Anti, Anti does 60 damage now as opposed to 100. No recovering. Still has the Anti effect. Mercy, uh, Mercy has some quality of life kind of changes. Um, not only to herself, but to other uh, teammates. Where it's easier to show and recognize if you're being damage boosted or healed. So on the receiving end of this, hopefully I can get some footage of that later when Iman gets on. It's easier to tell when you're being healed as opposed to being damage boosted. Res is still the same. I'll say that uh, Mercy definitely feels okay right now um, and can be ridiculously strong depending on who their DPS are. And I guess I'll just show you really quick. Valk is pretty much the same. Pistol sounds different though, which is cool. Next up is Baptiste. Uh, Baptiste is pretty similar. Uh, lamp is still lamp. Deploys a little bit slower, which is something. Um, to my knowledge feels pretty much the same. Okay, there's been a lot of changes that have been happening over the last month or so uh, of this alpha. Hopefully I don't know how to talk about all this, but they've been updating it quite often. Um, so excuse me if I'm not totally okay, like set on like what the number changes are because they've been changed multiple times. Um, but Baptiste actually got okay. Apparently, antibiotic grenade actually does 100 health again. Wait, no, that's the healing. Okay, never mind. The healing still does 100. So, Ana Nade does 100 healing but 60 damage. Uh, Baptiste right click uh, is secondary fire heal uh, does 50 healing. Um, currently. Uh, Briggy Inspire is 90. Mercy healing for her staff is 55 per second. And Moira is at 70 healing per second on her left click. So, good things to know now. Moira is pretty much the same. Um, the DUI change on the bottom right looks kind of cool, though, on her healing versus suck. Everything else seems pretty much the same. Zenyatta is pretty much untouched as well. What we're here for right now, the numbers will keep changing. Uh, but talking about how the hero looks and reworks, you can see down below the the Discord orb when you put it on an enemy uh, lights up, showing uh, by your your ultimate who it's on, and healing same thing. So you can see I have a healing on the, the bot and a Discord on the tracer. Zen's right click uh, changes its point of firing. You'll notice what I mean. So instead of firing all from center mass, it looks like they actually come from the directions. Uh, the orbs shoot out. So you see some orbs come from the right and the left and middle, which I think is really cool. It's a nice addition. It's just like good animation, really simply. Zen otherwise seems pretty much unchanged. Brig um, is slightly changed. Brig can go, Brig first off can go much further uh, with her bash. Uh, is her shield bigger? Shield pills appears to be a little bit bigger. Um, it has the same health on screen as Reinhardt uh, and travels further with the bash. So it travels much, much further than a normal uh, shield bash does on the live service game. Whipshot, still normal. Armor pack is still normal. Uh, however, though, the big change is that Brig no longer stuns with her shield bash, it does 50 damage. So you see how I did 50 damage to the Tracer? 
uh, Tracer actually wouldn't be stunned during that. So you can actually one-shot combo a, a Tracer, but they won't be stunned, so the Tracer can just recall out of it. So I guess if they aren't paying attention, I guess they could be one-shot comboed, but... Lastly, we have Lucio. Um, biggest change, in my opinion, right now is the sound. That sounds so chunky. I don't know if it's been changed, but you feel like you got punched in the face right now um, playing against Lucio, so... I'm not sure if that's been changed, if the sound of that has been changed, but, like, feels really chunky. Other than that, uh, Lucio is pretty much the same. I will say... I'll say that, uh, every overheal is based pretty much on Lucio's beat. Um, and I don't believe any of them give ult charge. Don't quote me on that one, though. That one, that one may be a little bit tougher. Uh, maybe we'll... I gotta look into that one a little bit more. Um, that might be a note for later. Maybe we'll just leave it as it is for now, because things change. So, regardless, so Lucio is pretty much the same. So the ping system in Overwatch, um, is a new addition with Overwatch 2. You can ping by using the middle mouse button. Um, there's ge the generic ping, which is the location ping, by looking at a location and pressing the middle mouse button. It will then place a marker for your team to see. Now, kind of like how in Apex and other games, you can use it to mark enemies. A little marker will show up over their head. This is what it looks like. It also is detailed for each hero. There's also, if you hold the ping button, this wheel appears. And each one has a different notification or a marker. So enemy will have a exclamation point going in. I'm going in. We'll say a voice line and show an arrow going to that location. Attacking. Attacking. Fall back. Fall back. So I'm very I'm pretty sure that one actually puts a ping on your own head. Um, so if you do this, Fall back. a ping will appear on your head for your teammates. I need help. Same thing. Ping will your, it will ping yourself. Defending. I'm on defense. So in like an apex where you're like, oh, I'm you know holding this area, you can defend here, or watching. Like oh, like there's a widow maybe on high ground. I'm keeping an eye on that. You still have your normal wheel, which is your like emote when you hold C. Uh, for hello and stuff, emotes, uh, sprays and whatnot. Um, there is a lot of wheels. I wouldn't say it's that complicated. The only complaint I had, and I think this is something others had as well, uh, is the distance. So like, when I press middle mouse wheel, there's a big distance I have to cross before I get there. If it was like a smaller flick, I think that would be a little I'm bit going better. In. Regardless, though, that's my own personal critique. Again, it's an alpha, though, and um, they've been very, very responsive with our asks. Um, asks, we're well, not asks. Responsive with our criticisms. Responsive with uh, making changes when things don't work right, or they're broken, or when things maybe need to be balanced a little bit better. Sojourn was a great example. Sojourn was very, very, very strong. Um, in my opinion, brokenly so at first. Uh, and they actually toned her down quite a bit to the point where it's a pretty fair rewarding uh, character at this point. And so that was a quick little inside look uh, at the ping system in Overwatch 2. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a ton. As well as go follow my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash flats. That's where all my content is typically made. And I was streaming the beta come April 26th, and uh, I'll probably be doing like 12 hour, 15 hour long streams every day. So if you want some, want to watch some beta footage, stop on by.